soon after dawn, Bashir Bilal sits surrounded by children chanting Quranic verses. When Bilal came to Dadaab five years ago, he found better educational options here than at home in Somalia, where there are few schools and those that exist are costly. When it comes to chances, here they have a better chance of going through the Quranic schools and even going on to further education. But there, they don't have a chance. They just become farmers. Kenya's government has hosted refugees from Somalia since 1991, when civil war started tearing the country apart. Today, Dadaab is the world's largest refugee settlement, with over 350,000 residents. But now, Kenyan officials want the camp shut down, claiming they are a security threat used by members of al-Shabaab, Somalia's branch of al-Qaeda. Don't pretend that because Dadaab is not attacked, Karisa is attacked, Nairobi Mombasa is attacked, that this place is safe evidence. No, this is the breeding ground. It's the training ground. It's the, it's the transaction ground of all what goes to beat Kenyans down in Nairobi. People living in the camps are perplexed by such allegations. And the government are saying now, and the Dabis are the place that people are just recruiting something. And it is the pain that they feel. You know, if you feel pain, you can see everything. But this place is not a place that people are just recruiting. Despite living in temporary shelters and on food handouts, Dadaab is not a place of universal misery and hopelessness. The camp's thriving economy is worth around $25 million, according to a 2010 study commissioned by Kenya's Department of Refugee Affairs. Ali Saha, a 23-year-old university graduate, runs a cyber cafe here, but says eventually he will return home to Somalia. I should learn so that I help my community in Somalia. I actually want to one day go back with my education. Actually, uh, I, don't, I cannot tell you it is today or maybe it's next month or maybe it's next year, but I am sure I'll one day maybe go back to Somalia and maybe uh, take part in, in, in rebuilding my country. But until that day comes, Ali's fate and that of all those living in the world's largest refugee camp remains uncertain.